Well, welcome to the, uh, to the Wednesday service. Um, before I pray, I would like to um, just let you know I'm going to lead a few songs and then we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to have Chris Monroe take the reins and share um, a, a few moments and, and uh, give us some insights from Scripture. Um, we're going to be focusing on Psalm 23 and I, I love, I love the, the way that David walks us through the reality of life in that in that psalm that that we try to um, we we may try to run from him but he outruns us uh, the fact that he walks us through like literally almost literally like holding our hands through through those valleys of darkness through the valley of uh, uncharted waters <laughs> like uh, to to mix metaphors but through through things that are unprecedented like like things going on right now that. Uh, we have more than enough because of our shepherd. And then I also think that it, it makes us be able to say what Paul said, which is, I can do all things through Christ because he gives me strength. And uh, he goes on and says in, in verse, uh, that's verse 13 and 19 and 20, he says, my God will use his wonderful riches in Christ Jesus to give you everything you need. So Paul's saying, he's going to supply like he does for me. He's going to supply for you. And then it finishes with glory to our God and Father forever endeavor amen so let's give him glory as we worship and uh and then um let's hear the word tonight uh praise the lord so lord we come we come to your throne of grace your table of grace as it were we know that you prepare a feast for us surely your goodness and mercy follow after us all the days of our lives run me when I run away and this rebel find your safe embrace your great mercy chases after me every day every day of my life yes it does every day every day of my life so I today, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you, God. And you are here, moving in our midst. We worship you. We worship you. You are here, we're 
working in this place, working in this place. We worship. We worship you. We worship you. Sing, touching every heart. You are here, touching every heart. I worship. I worship you. I worship. Zoe and me, and um, it's one of those songs where I would rather just sit and listen to it and then let it calm my heart and help me to be still. So. Your in control. 
bless um, this message coming now to our hearts. May we do more than listen. Lord, may we also, um, just as it were, take a, uh, take a fork as, it were, as if it were a meal and, and take it in and, and receive every bit of nourishment from the Word of God and from the, from the inspiration, the words that you give to our brother Chris. We pray this in Jesus' name. Thanks, Terry. Love worshiping with you, my friend. And those songs really touched my heart, especially I'll Be Still. Wow. Those lyrics were really resonating uh, with my spirit tonight and reminded me of Psalm 23, which I want us to just take a few moments, read through, and I'd like a, to point out a, a couple of things. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. 
you know, that means that he causes me to come back. That's how one uh, Hebrew scholar translates that sentence. He causes me to come back. That is to come back from the brink, so to speak. I don't know about you, but there certainly have been times in my life, and maybe what we're in right now could be one of those times when it feels at times like we're on the brink, on the brink of disaster, on the brink of harm. But the Lord, as our shepherd, is so good at bringing us back from the brink, <laughs> bring us back, restores our soul, gets us back to the place that we need to be. In, in our attitude uh, toward him, toward others, and even toward ourselves. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. His rod and staff aren't just there to, to corral us and tap us. So when we get a little too far to the right or to the left to kind of bring us back to where we need to be. But the rod and the staff were mighty tools. They were weapons the shepherd used to, to defend the sheep. And God has amazing tools at his disposal to protect you and I. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Uh, uh, anointing oil was often a, a healing agent. So a wound could be um, rubbed down with oil to promote healing. And the Lord certainly is, as our shepherd, is there to heal you and I with whatever mishaps we end up suffering. He's there for us. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. A table prepared for us. A, a, a time of, of eating and feasting, even when we should be shaking and afraid. I love how in the song we sang, your love surrounds me. In you I'm found. Fear can't touch me. And that's the idea. When we should be full of fear and intrepidation because the, our enemies are pursuing us, whatever those might be, that we are able to rest secure and be at peace enough that we can even have table fellowship with the Lord and with each other. How marvelous is that? And then... The psalm ends in verse 6, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. Instead of fear and intrepidation and pain and mishap, instead of those kinds of things pursuing us, surely goodness and mercy shall pursue me. That's how the Hebrew there can be translated rather than follow, pursue. I mean, think about that. That instead of um, trouble pursuing you, that God's goodness and mercy is pursuing you. It wants to get a hold of you. It wants to bless you. It wants to, to, to have the final say in your and my life. Hallelujah. That's tremendous that his goodness and mercy pursues us. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Psalm 23, a good word, just like the songs we sang, particularly I'll Be Still. Love that song. So before we end, allow me to offer up a prayer for tonight. Um, one that's, that's fresh and flowing from my heart for each of you. Let's pray. Help us this night, O oh God, to set aside worry and disappointment, to let go of hurt and insecurity and fear and anxiety, 
and forget all the petty things that bother us and upset us so easily. Bless our sleep this night with your comfort. Renew our minds with your wisdom and heal our hearts with your loyal love. In the name of our shepherd king, Jesus. Amen.